Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here back for another video on Marvel Strike Force. Are you ready to learn more about Battle World? Are you ready to learn more about how long it's going to take you to unlock Null? Well, in this video, we have all sorts of information to go over because thanks to Scopely and the glory that is data mines, there is plenty of information for us to go over in this video that they've made available to us on the public servers. So much so that honestly, I think that we're going to know more, you know, from the data mines with regards to battle world than they've actually told us themselves on their website or through their live streams. It's absolutely crazy. So if you want to know more, then you know what to do. Let's boil this down. Now, before we go too far, I do want to kind of start here up on the images from the Battle World uh, splash page, right? You know, there was a few images that kind of told us a little bit of stuff. It kind of shows us the user interface, and we know a few things. You know, actually, you know what? There's one more I was looking for. Where is? Uh, I thought I had it open. <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure it's over here somewhere. No, hold on. Let me find it. Is it down here? I think it's down here. Yeah, I was looking for this one actually. So let's start. Uh, uh, I thought I opened it. Uh, where did that go? That's embarrassing. There we go. OK, so this is what I was looking for. We know that Battle World has five different difficulties, right? D0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, that's, that's 6, isn't it? I think that's 6. Yeah, starting with 0, I guess it would be a total of 6, all the way up to difficulty 5. Now, I think these may be placeholder numbers in terms of the first time rewards reach XVP. Uh, because we're going to see when we go through the data mines, you know, what kind of rewards there are and uh, the different milestones for the different VPs. And that's why I wanted to oh, that's why I wanted to bring up this, because if you can see over here on the right hand side, it does say VPs earn this this siege, this battle world next reward tier at 20,000. So, I mean, and then that, those these are low numbers. These may or may not be. I don't think these are actually because the data mines do actually show larger values than this. But my point is, is that. I think that it's quite a low, if you look at this one and then like what it's asking you here to reach that to unlock the next difficulty, it's quite low, I think, because VPs are an alliance based effort. Unless this is intended to be this way, it, you know, I, I think I heard somewhere that it suggested that, you know, 12 to 16 active players in an alliance should be able to get to the next difficulty, no problem, or sorry, at least be able to get to null, no problem. I don't know about the next difficulty, but maybe that's the same too. Uh, there's a, a little bit of information that, you know, the data mines don't tell. But anyways, there's a lot. And also, we're going to find out exactly how many shards per week that you're going to get from Null. Uh, what I don't know, and I'm not sure if it's in the data mines or not, but I don't know if they have information regarding season rewards, because I don't think I've ever seen those in the data mines, you know, raid season, war season rewards, or in this case, battle world season rewards. So I don't know if there's additional Null shards going to be in the season rewards but what i do know is that there are null shards that you're going to be getting weekly as part of the boss reward so you only get null shards if you make it to zone six aka nulls throne and you do enough damage to null to pass those milestones so uh zone six aka the boss does have its own separate milestone rewards that are different from what you see here so there's going to be your rewards for battle world for the week for the for the the combat missions and all that stuff and then you're going to have a separate second reward set which is going to be for the bosses. So we'll find that out as well and I'm going to open that up here. Now this is yeah, sorry it's a bit bright. I don't have a <laughs> I don't I don't have a dark version of this. I think let me check actually. Okay, I actually found a dark mode. So my apologies. I know that I've had some complaints about that in the past. People are like, "Oh my god, Boylan, I can't believe you're using light mode." It's just this particular program called, you know what? I forgot the no, Notepad++. Plus Plus. I, I got this maybe about a month ago and I did never bother to change it. So uh, there we go. We're into dark mode now. It might be a little bit harder for you to see the, the text, but hopefully it's okay. So this file in particular is called Battle World Continent 01 Null Rewards.json. Uh, so what you can see here is that there's a variety of different uh, currencies that you can get as rewards for different milestone tiers on the boss battle. You see right here, ID uh, Abyss Zone 06, which is, you know, the sixth day, boss 01, that's the null boss, and then damage dealt 0.2. Now, 
Now, I don't know what this means exactly, if that means like maybe 20% of a null kill, that kind of thing, total, or, you know, like, I think I have the photo up of, is it here? Yeah, so down here, right? Like, it has something to do, this is the, I don't know, I think this is one of the highest difficulties anyways, but you can see here that he's got like 540 40 million hit points, right? And so I don't know if that 0.2 then represents 20% of this total reduction in terms of the milestone or like, it seems that the milestone thresholds for the boss battle is directly related to how much damage you do to null. So as far as the conversion goes here, I'm not entirely sure, but you can see that damage dealt 0 0.2 and then it gives you a variety of different currencies. ISO 8 tier 2A currency, tier 1C currency, tier 1B currency, and battle world currency. So this is related to ISO, yeah, but there's two different tier 1s and then one tier 2. It's my understanding that tier 3, which is purple, is only from the elite missions in the battle, the, ba the battle, the elite battle missions in basically mission five in each of the zones. That's my understanding. So I don't know if they're going to be giving purple ISO necessarily through the boss rewards, but it scales down. So you see damage dealt 0.4 over here and it, and it just goes up, right? Like the battle world currency goes up from 1100 from 550 to 1100. And then there's damage dealt 0.6 and then everything just scales, right? 0.7 damage. 0.8 damage, 0.9 damage, and then you can see damage dealt one, and then it does say down here, shard nulls quantity 10. So it appears that when you get to the, and I think that's the final milestone. It's the final milestone. So it appears that the final milestone in null is 10. Now you might be asking uh, a few questions. It's like, uh, you know, how does this matter for the difficulty? And I'm not sure it does necessarily like I'm not sure like I think it's the same milestones regardless of what difficulty that you're on that you're fighting null at and I guess you can only make so much uh, damage progress I suppose on each of the difficulties right because he's going to have so much hit points I, I, I guess you know so I don't know what difficulty you're going to need to run in order to be able to accomplish this final milestone in the null weekly milestone I suppose you know, maybe this is D3. I would wager to get there, given how many there are. I want to say D D3. You know, maybe that's what the expectation is to, to clear this final milestone. D3, D4, that kind of range. Because I, I don't know if they're going to be giving this out right away. And another question that people probably have is, well, you, you know, do I have to start from the bottom or can I start at difficulty three? I think it's kind of like a raid. And I don't know 100%. So some of this is going to be subject to change, of course. You know, this is just my perception of, of what I believe it to be, is that you're going to start from D0 on week one, and then you're going to make your way up each of the difficulties until you get to, you know, the difficulty that you're going to land at as far as Battle World goes uh, and your alliances, uh, you know, uh, how, how good they are, <laughs> for lack of better words. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see also the daily rewards that you get from the various zones. And so that's interesting, too, because it seems that not only is there going to be some sort of other weekly payout, but there's also daily payouts, too. And this is dependent on how many waves your alliance clears. So these are, I guess it would be probably this, except for this must reset every single zone uh, every day, which is a zone. And you'll get daily rewards related to here. So you can see tier one B currency, tier one C currency and tier two A currency, but it says minimum waves to clear 12, 24, and then 48, 72, 96, uh, 120, 144. And that's it there. And it basically repeats every single day. So you can see that repeats again here at waste 12. I think this is because it's coded to be a second zone or like this might be zone one and this is zone two. Uh, but the actual what they're giving you, it's all the same tier one B, tier one C, tier two A. So that's all there. And then I think if you go towards the bottom, that's where I really wanted to get. I think it's daily run. That's probably the next one here. Continent rewards table. So continent in this case, I think, refers to the entirety of Battle World, uh, which is the weekly payout, essentially. So there's going to be three different payouts. The daily zone payouts, the boss payout, and then the end of all of that based on how many victory points that you're able to obtain out of that. And so you can see here that the very first one is minimum VPs of 20,000. 
And that's why I thought it was kind of funny, because if you look to this previous one, this uh, Battle World difficulty selector, you know, <laughs> it says reach 21,000 VP on difficulty four. So if the very first milestone that you're getting rewards from is 20,000, uh, you know, that seems, I guess the numbers in the screenshot are probably subject to change, I would imagine, because this seems a bit wild. So it goes from 20,000 and you're going to get 26,000 ISO 8 Tier 1 Item Credits Currency. So that's interesting. These may be separate currencies where, you know, you get this and you're able to buy items in the store. That's different somehow from uh, the Battle World credits. Maybe it's like uh, things like the orbs, right? Like me, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what those are coded. You know, like we have in game, we have uh, the purple ISO orbs. And I'm not sure what those are coded in the data mines. I, I don't recall coming across them particularly lately. So uh, when you go into this, I'm thinking it's things like this, this stuff, right? Because there's blue versions of them down here. There's no green versions of them that I'm aware of, but there's at least blue and purple versions. And I'm wondering if that's what some of this stuff might be or might turn out to be because there's more down here. So the next one is... VPs of 80,000, and then you get tier two item credit currencies now, and more battle world currency. So 80,000 VPs, 140,000 VPs, and the battle world currency is scaling upwards. 200,000 VPs, 250,000 VPs, 300,000, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 60, 600, 650, and it stops at 700,000 VPs, and you get 65,000 battle world currency. Uh, is at the top. I guess the maximum payout that you can get per week is 65,000 Battle World currency. I believe it was also, there was some, I think in the Null, wasn't in the Null rewards at the top. That's where they also had that as well. So there's maybe two places that you can get the Battle World currency. And then there's ISO 8 Tier 2 item. I mean, that's only 8,100 credits. So I, again, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do or buy necessarily. Uh, and then 310,000 of this Tier 1 item is credit currency. So it does seem that they're kind of, theming battle world to be around iso 8 in general because that's going to be the number one place where you're going to be getting purple iso stuff and so it might just be a catch-all place to get iso in general i do hope though there's something worthwhile to buy with this battle world currency uh, i hope that you can buy g19 gear at the very least if there's not red gear in there i would be very shocked uh because it's currently not in any other store other than the supply store and of course the candy store which we're getting a lot of right now they're really opening the floodgates on uh, red gear. And so I would really think that's probably what's going to happen. But I think I want to go back really quickly to when we were talking about the null shards, which was back up here, right? At uh, damage dealt one. And so now that we know that we're getting 10 shards, we know that that's going to take us 18 weeks to get, well, actually, no, it could take a little bit more than that, right? So we don't know what, I don't know what difficulty, you know, you need to run in order to get that. But let's just say, it's at difficulty three. So you'd run D0 one week, D1, D2, and then D3, which would be your fourth week, and you're finally starting to collect null shards, hypothetically, right? You know, and he's 180 shard unlocked, which means that it could take about five months. What is that, 20, 20, 22 weeks? Did I just say that? In the fifth week, you start collecting. So yeah, maybe about uh, 22, <laughs> maybe I missed a week there, <laughs> 22 weeks. So that would be about five months before you're able to really unlock null. And that's assuming if you do things perfectly to the T that your alliance is really just uh, doing the best they possibly can so that you can start getting that. It's also assuming that there are not null shards in the season reward payout, which honestly I think would probably make sense. I don't, I think four to five months unlock makes sense to me because things have been kind of slow. The slow drip is in full effect. And it's my understanding that he is also going to be a mythic character, but I can't confirm that. Now, one thing that I do know, though, is that Null is a five gear piece. The actual, not the boss version, but the PVE version of Null, it's in the data mines as well, that he is a five gear piece character. And a lot of mythic characters are five pieces. And given how long it's expected to take him to unlock, I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm not 100% sure on the mythic part, but it adds up to me. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I hope this is helpful to learn a little bit more about Battle World because there's, well... Uh, not a lot of things publicly known, but let me tell you, there is a lot of things in the files that can tell us what's coming up. So uh, that's it for this video, everyone. And until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan, signing out.